that coverage is going to be a little bit lower over the next couple of days. Uh, but again, where we do get some showers and storms to develop, there will still be some very heavy downpours with them. Uh, and then with overall fewer showers and storms around, temperatures should be allowed to get a little bit hotter for today, uh, tomorrow, and probably Thursday as well. So very warm and humid over the next couple of days. And then it looks like we'll start to see our rain chances increasing again toward the end of the week and into the weekend for really starting on Friday and then heading into the, uh, the start of the weekend. We've got numbers in the 70s and 80s right now. We're at 81 in Coleman, 81 in Haleyville. We're close to 80 in Birmingham, right at 80 in Anniston, some low 80s there in Alex City, Tuscaloosa and Centerville, both at 80 degrees. Not a lot right, really showing up on the, the map at the moment. We've had a few spotty showers develop here and there in our three minute advantage. A decent little shower developed. It looked like into uh, Shelby County and now that's weakening with time as it kind of crosses over I-65 here, kind of heading over toward 119. So they develop and then weaken really pretty quickly. This is a uh, another look at some showers, an area of showers that developed and kind of moved through Forkland and Utah, but it's weakening with time as it heads up toward Havana and Greensboro. Lots of moisture still coming in on those southwesterly winds. You can see them uh, just with the stream of cloud cover, first of all, and then of course course some of those uh, lighter rain showers that I showed you. And I think as things start to heat up by the mid to late afternoon, that's when we'll start to get some additional showers and storms developing probably up here where we're getting uh, some of those 80s already. Those numbers, we've had a few more breaks in the clouds up there, and that's where some of our short term models are suggesting we'll start to get some thunderstorm development later on today. So low 80s here at the top of the hour, 85 at 2 o'clock, and I think many of us could get into the mid and even upper 80s for this afternoon. We'll still go with about a 30% chance as far as uh, you seeing a shower or storm at your house today. So we'll still go with that lower coverage, but it sure looks like our northern counties will have the best chance at getting some rain or even a few embedded thunderstorms this afternoon and into this evening. And then you'll notice temperatures remain in the upper 80s through Thursday. And then with higher coverage on Friday and Saturday, our temperatures will drop off a bit then. Stay with us. You're watching.